Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is the reflection program. Um, <clears throat> we would like to do reflection on the x-axis and y-axis or from the corners, right? So, for example, we have this thing. Okay, we need to have an x-axis and y-axis. Then only then uh, there will be reflection. So if it's a box here, if it goes over the x-axis, it will go here, or it can go here, or it can go here. The thing is that um, for that we need uh, the full coordinate system. But our screen is just a one quadrant. That is this guy, okay? Because here is the zero zero x goes here, y goes here. The rest, which is uh, this one, this one. I mean, not, not here, sorry, because this is this quadrant, okay? Then the other three quadrants are missing. They will be out of screen. So we have to do somehow uh, break the screen into the four dummy quadrants. So we need to create a dummy quadrant so that we need to add those offsets so that our rectangle, if I want to keep it in quadrant, has to be added this offset. Say if that is why I'm going to create this window using the init window say for example 600 600 so it's it's 600 wide and 600 in height that means in a uh, center is 300 this is 0 300 this is 600 and for y-axis also this is 0 300 and 600 so that means if i want to keep this in this quadrant even though this whole quadrant is actually the the whole screen is this quadrant only where we have four quadrants this is the quadrant so but to show the reflection we have to create a dummy quadrants so that's what what i'm saying is um i just want to cut this into the four areas and consider this as my uh, the first quadrant right so now create a rectangle here that means if our user says 100 100 start from 100 100 to say for example 200 200 that means I need to add to that 100, this 300, because I am uh, moving X this much so that it could come in this part of the space, right? So that means I have to edit this 300 to the X. So this will not be just 100, this will be 300 plus 100. That is this point. And for the Y, it goes down, so I'm not worried about the Y this time because Y will be same. What is here, it will be same as here. So on a Y side, I'm not going to change. But for this guy, again, for the Y side, I'm not uh, having any problems. But the X, which is 200, for example, is actually 300 plus 200. Because I have moved already this much. That is 300. Uh, and then from 300, I moved on the 200. That is, should be 500. So for X also, I have to add x2 i have to also add 300 so that it can come in this dummy quadrant does it make sense so that's what i'm doing in my code i got all my variables here okay then i need these y adjusts and y2 adjust x1 adjust and x2 adjust so that i can i can add up those dummy you know coefficients and those uh, variables offsets so that it can come into that place right so firstly, I'm saying enter the northwest corner of rectangle and then see, saying, for example, user says 100, 100, okay, as a northwest corner, starting from 100, 100. And in the uh, southeast uh, east corner, I'm saying, say, for example, 200, 200. So I want to uh, create a rectangle of 100, 100 and 200, 200. Then I want to go for reflection. So for that, I will init graph and I create a window using init window 600 600 size and i can use the path as nothing which is the path of the graphics uh, bgi and all or i can skip it simply it will create me 600 600 window okay then i first clear the graphics space then i create two lines okay this is simply to divide the uh, that, that screen into four quadrants uh, that is 0 to 300, then 600 to 300. That means I am trying to create uh, 
one second i will show you that means i am if i am dividing this so i need to draw these lines because i have created a window of size 600 600 using this init window here right so when i create a 600 600 that means this much is half is 300 and half of the y is also 300 okay so i have to start this line from uh this is my zero x because x is zero from here up to total 600 right this is yeah. the line okay and we have to draw the second line that's from 300 x that means from 300 x that's why i'm moving from 300 that, that actually second this line is the x uh, the vertical line okay because um I'm saying move it from the 300 of X, that means from 300 X from this point, okay, up to zero Y, because Y is zero here, and up to 300 X and 600 Y, okay? And number next is, um, number next, if we talk about is this point, which is, uh, in y there's 300 but x uh, it is uh, also uh, you know it, it it's in x it is zero because it sits on the x zero but y we have moved down to 300 and then we have to move all the way x to the 600 okay that's why x is 600 here and y is gonna be 300 okay y is gonna be 300 so i am dividing this whole space into four quadrants this is what we do now if i give it a go just to show it okay it's asking me about the quadrants of the rectangle then 200 and 200 and now uh, if you could see the graphics window on this screen let me get it on this screen so it has created a 600 by 600 window this is the BGI graphics window and in this quadrant here it is creating this rectangle even though I said 100 100 and 200 200 but it has added that offset of this much right so that it comes in this quadrant only so that it gives a dummy uh, quadrants uh, of like say this is the positive X and positive Y negative Y and negative X in fact this whole thing is all positive x and positive y but i just created the dummy quadrants and created a rectangle over here okay now after this i'm done with this i created a rectangle with x1 y1 x2 y2 but to the x1s i add the 300 and x2 i add 300 and y's i don't want to add because y remains same for the first rectangle okay then I have the Y adjust and Y2 adjust, X1 adjust and X2 adjust to understand this thing because I want to use the same formula, the same matrix we created in my, um, in our, in our, in our class, right, for the reflection. But if I, you know, if I um, uh, calculate negative Y, it may go out of the screen, it may go to the different quadrant which will not be visible to the screen. That is why I need to adjust to get it into the exact quadrant which I want to show it. So I'm asking user uh, press 1 for x axis reflection and press 2 for y axis reflection and press 3 for both x axis as well as y axis. That means you are going from the corner. Okay. If I give it a go, x uh, one more time to show this thing that I'm saying I have got 100, 100, and 200, 200, and then if I want to make this rectangle move over the x-axis that means I want to move it to this quadrant okay so that means when the when you move over x the x stays same y becomes negative okay I use the same formula but I have to adjust so that this comes into this dummy quadrant same way if I want to go for the y-axis move over the y-axis reflectional y-axis this has to go here which is in this dummy quadrant but if i want to go for both that means this has to go from here okay for that i need to calculate the x 
adjust and y adjusts okay that's why i have got here the uh, y1 adjust y2 adjust x1 adjust x2 adjust let's think about first the y1 adjust if it is actually uh, it has to move to this quadrant so i have to say the negative y right i have to say the negative y so this is where i choose if i say press one for x axis reflection that means uh, my uh, y has to be negative so that's what i'm doing x remains same whatever it was in the beginning 300 plus x 300 to get it over the halfway mark okay to get it into the first quadrant and y i'm making negative okay but i need to adjust so that it comes into my that quadrant dummy quadrant um same way I have to so that's why for the y if I'm saying negative y but to get it into the exact quadrant what I want to I have to add the y1 adjust same x2 plus 300 okay uh, x2 plus 300 is the <clears throat> so how much uh, y1 adjust and x2 adjust uh, we gonna do is so that uh, here for example I'm, I'm talking of this one first case one is if you want to uh, go for x-axis so that means only negative y y becomes negative but if you are uh, if you are in the case two okay that means y axis reflection then you just go for negative x but if you have a both uh, x-axis and y-axis reflection you just uh, go for negative x as well as negative y okay and um, default is that you are having a uh, wrong choice okay let me do choice so accordingly you have to um, adjust this uh, what I have uh, got it you just work it out using the using the quadrants how much how much you want if you want to say for example go for uh from this here to this uh block okay that means you are making negative y that means you are making negative y right so if you are making negative y then uh what i am saying is um you need to get it from here to here but you are saying negative y as per the formula but we have to get it into the dummy quadrants right so because if we do it in a right way that means if we do it in a proper way that we have the x and y and we create a negative y it will go into the it will go into the other quadrant which will not be visible on a screen so we have to get it on a screen that's why we have to adjust this guy so that means basically if i want to pass it from here to here i have to uh, pass this barrier of 300 right so i have to get it over 300 okay so that's why if i say the y adjust adjust I am getting this 300 plus and to get that negative off i am adding it y two times and that in total it will be y1 plus 300 to get it over same is with the other guys y2 adjust and same is with the x1 adjust and x2 adjust you can just think about it how to get it into the next quadrant okay because we want to get it into the next quadrant that's what we want to do okay so if i give it a go and just show you rest you can see the code here one second i will just show you the full code and um, so they can work it out so i'm saying if you are moving over x-axis then just simply do what um negate the y if you're going uh over y-axis negate the x but if you're going to both axes then negate x negate y as well so accordingly adjust your x-axis and so add y adjust and x adjust accordingly right and then i'm saying press press one to continue if you want to do again then you can go back okay uh, on the top here and just do it again so let's let's give it a go it's a very simple program i'm not feeling actually well so just created this program uh for you guys and i'm really not feeling well so i'm saying 100 and 100 then say 200 and 200 i got my mm, i got my here window 
which is uh, the rectangle in this quadrant. Now, you see x axis rotation or y axis rotation. So I may I may exactly tell it what we want to do. Say for example, x axis rotation. So it will negate the y. Okay. Mm, I wrote I wrote wrong. Sorry. I should say one, not x. Let me get it on this screen. Damn. Okay, one, uh -huh. not one, just one second, bear with me because I'm not feeling well, so my brain is actually not working properly. Anyways, 100 and 100, then 200 and 200. Now, we got this guy here, and then we say x axis rotation, say one for x axis rotation. So we got it over the x-axis by negating the y. Press 1 to continue. And now I want to go for 2 to y-axis rotation. Okay, now it's crossed over to the y. Okay, by negating the x. By negating x. And if I continue again and I want to say 3 for x-axis and y-axis rotation, then I may say, here it goes, it goes to the x-axis and y-axis that is negating both axes and both y's okay hopefully we got it done and in the next video we will talk about the uh, shearing but shearing we need uh, to handle each and every point okay because i want to change this point and this point and but this point doesn't move so that means i can't work on a whole rectangle with just having this point and this point rather i need to have the polygon had to draw polygon with with the lines okay so that i get, get uh, i need to get hold of the each of each of these lines right that will be for the next program so stay tuned for the next program that is sharing that will be last thing and then if you have to combine the two do the compound transformation like translation and this so you you will use the translation program as well as uh, the sharing program or reflection program and mix up of the two to get all the things done so see you next time. Mashallah.